Good afternoon, everybody. This is Lee and Ryan from FedersleyPigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. What are we doing today? We are going to take a deep dive into all the lots featured in this week's Geert and Leander Munich from the Netherlands online auction. Ryan, why don't you introduce our special guest? Take it away, Ryan. Well, guys, I'm, I'm going to be a little off. I'm going to be different today. I can't help it. I've, I've eaten. I've eaten a big meal. You guys, what you guys cook is phenomenal. Yeah. The fries, the mayo, the big long sausage that's the length of my forearm with the onions, the barbecue sauce, the mayonnaise. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, especially made for you. Especially made for me. Of course. I, I told them I didn't want to eat before the show because I'm going to get sluggish. But I'm going to tell you something. Right when I'm feeling like hell, like shit, <laughs> then the master brings out some pigeons for old daddy to feel. I put them in my hands, these auction birds. <laughs> the quality just rises. You feel super quality pigeons. And I'm going to say the Munichs have been with Feathers Elite. Now, this is the third crack at the whip. This is the third shot. And I'm going to tell you something. You guys, I don't know what you did this season. Last season was super nice. These birds crushed it. These birds are on another level. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I want to thank you for coming back with us and playing this again. Guys, and if you're wondering who we are talking to, well, it's quite simple. You see her on Facebook all the time. That's Leandra Munich. Hi. And this is the man himself, eh? The Johnny Boy, Mr. Hello. Johnny Boy. Yes. Himself, Geert. Yes. I want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Uh, again, your YouTubers, your Facebookers, your Instagrammers, your tweeters, your twerkers, your beer drinkers, your heavy eaters. This is the show for you guys. These lots are fantastic. We got the match pair coming up today. Leah, are you with us? <laughs> I certainly am, Ryan. I want to remind everybody that all the pigeons featured in this auction are in the Netherlands. Also a reminder, all bids are in Canadian dollars. Also a reminder, when does this auction close? Closing Saturday, March 26, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, and 7 p.m. European Time. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersleyPigeonAuctions.com or FIPAEU.com. Ryan? Did we want to get into the lots or did we want to talk a little bit about uh, the Munichs and what they specialize in just to give everybody a very quick overview? Yeah, guys, just to give the people who do not know you or aren't familiar with you a little uh, inside scoop. What do you guys specialize in? And a bit about yourself. Go ahead. I, you know what? Now's your time. Brag it up because these pigeons are phenomenal and I'll do the bragging for them. But you hit it on you guys. Go. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, we are uh, Geert and Leandra Munich. We are a uh, father-son Racing team. Father, son. Father, father daughter. Father, daughter. Oh, You're yeah. nervous. Come on, <laughs> Leandra. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous for the camera. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. Sometimes I get nervous. Sorry. But um, yeah, a daughter, father, daughter racing team. And I also, of course, race with my husband. But now we are uh, sailing for father, daughter. So, yeah, you guys are team. a family team. You guys have been yes. racing. How long has your father been racing for? Oh, uh, from up, uh, I was uh, seven years old. Yeah. My father uh, was starting with pigeons, I think, in 1965. And I was born in 59, because I was uh, six, seven years old. Yeah. Well, long time, eh? Yeah. A yeah. lo lot of pigeons in your, in your house. Your house I, has always had them. And I was born in 58. 58? Yeah, 58. Yeah. Wow, you're, you're getting quite up there in age. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's your secret to the... The good look and the nice hair and you know i don't know 58 eat good train a lot <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you you know what though 85 85 i thought you meant 58 because no. you're really now wait if you make one more nervous I'm blunder nervous. you're gonna have Sorry. to come off the show and, and we're gonna me and your dad are gonna have yeah, to take okay. the track on this you one but would, yeah hold okay. on hold on yeah. all joking aside but that, it's mm. a good point you have one of your oldest breeders. Uh, I'm bad with the names. The old guy that we've seen. Come on. Golden Amigo. Leah, listen to how it's pronounced. Golden Amigo. Okay, Amigo. This amigo. pigeon, he's Thank what is you. It, 11, or, 11 or 12 years old? In, yeah, he's yeah. from uh, 2011. Yeah. 2011. Mm -hmm. He's an old cock, but you handle him, he feels young. Yeah. And this is what we're joking about. Old, you have some older pigeons. They're very, very nice. They hold their... They're aged beautiful. Yeah. Um, what do you guys specialize in in racing here in this area? I think we are specialized uh, in, in sprint. I think from 300 kilometers 
Uh, I love uh, uh, sprint in middle uh, distance races. So, uh, to up to uh, 450, 500 kilometers. And uh, when the long distance races, then I uh, basketing all times uh, a small lot of pigeons. A small group of pigeons. Yeah. So, so these birds really excel right up to about the 500, 600 kilometer range. Yeah. Headwinds, tailwinds, does it matter with these pigeons? No. They do it in all, all conditions. And some of the competition, the numbers that you fly against, uh, how big? Yeah, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, the club, we are, uh, I think, 15 members. In the Rayon, we have, uh, I think, 150. And in the uh, uh, provincial, uh, we are uh, 1,500 uh, members. So, so some good competition, eh? Mm -hmm. Good competition. Yeah. And yeah. you guys are up at the top week in, week out. You put the work in. Reminder, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this family doesn't do pigeons. Uh, this isn't how they do their living. They work. They both have jobs, families. Yeah. So pigeons, as much as you'd love to be full-time, yeah. you guys haven't even had the time to put the full-time in, and you're still getting super results. And you've had, you've had super results for years. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, what's, what was the, what, what's, what's the Superman? What's the, what's the guy? What's the pigeon? What's your ultimate pigeon? The one you're the most proud about. Come on, you guys, I, Leandra. I know course, you yes. want to bust out of your. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I think it's our Johnny Boy, of course. Johnny yeah. Boy, that it's, was a famous pigeon. Yeah. I make it together with uh, different hands. He gave me all the hands. Uh, super, super yeah. youngsters. He, he was a super racer. Yeah, he was yeah, also, but a also super racer. really. Good he was the best uh, of Holland when he was uh, a young bird. He was the second best of Holland of the middle distance when he was one year old. And then uh, I put him in a breeding loft. And then he turned on as a breeder as well. Yeah. So he was really, yeah. he was really the super Johnny boy. Yeah. He was excellent. Yeah. And, and you know, uh, you guys watch this. Johnny boy was from what year? 2005. Five. Five. Oh, no. 2005. 2005. Yeah. Yeah. And we talked today when we sat here. You are still today looking for Johnny Boy descendants to bring back to your loft. I did that, yes. Yes, you have. You, yes. You've actually done that. We yes. have. I've seen them with my own eyes. i seen a young woman in a loft say to her father, oh, my God, that bird's here. Let me see it. It finally came in. And yeah, in, in I, bread, you found it. I buy the hen and the cock. Yes. It's from a full son out of Johnny Boy Sprinter. Yeah. And... So I, I did not see him for a couple of months. Of months. Because, yeah, I work really hard and a lot. I'm a nurse. Yes. And I am not always have the time to come here. And now I come here because you were here. And we go to the breeding loft. And there he, he was. He gives you a cock. Yeah. And, and, and I was thinking, oh, my God. He looks good. He looks really good. I said, so I was thinking, oh, what ring number does I was looking like this to you? I know. Yeah. And then you give me the cock, and, and then he said, it's your... Pigeon. Uh, yeah, your, your Johnny boy, yeah, boy he, that, that you and, buy and, together with, with Peter. Right. So, uh, yeah, I, I just was blown away. <laughs> and, and this is the thing. You believe in your family from 2005 so much yeah. today with all these pigeons, yeah. Porsche, and, 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 and you know all the big names. Yeah. But yet you're still going out looking for that old family. And, and do you know why that is? Because the the Johnny boys still give the good blood through other people. You know, they, they fly first prizes in, in, in one love races. We did good in Victoria Falls and it's all blood related to Johnny boy. Thank you. You, 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 you answered it exactly how it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Guys, why should you purchase these lots? Because these people right here, they believe in this family of pigeons. They believe it to a point that they are still going today to find the best ones, get that old family back. It's the best of the best, Leah. I'm ready to start whenever you are. Let me know. Okay. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeagePigeonAuctions.com or FIPAEU.com. want to remind everybody, all the pigeons featured in this sale are in the Netherlands. All bids are in Canadian dollars. We're going to start off with lot number one. Let me get set up here. Woo! Starting off on a high note, a beautiful 
Blue Bar Hen, your lot number one, the Netherlands, 2021-143-9760. An original, Geert and Leander Munich with Leo Hermans and Stickers Donkers. A Feathers Elite exclusive offer, a direct child of Olympic Johnny and Blue Beauty. Definitely. Olympic Johnny wins third Olympiad Doif category G, Netherlands. Fifth International Brussels. Blue Beauty wins third versus 692 pigeons. 26th Quiverant versus 7,076 pigeons. 32nd Tongarin versus 1,568 pigeons, and so on. Granddaughter of Golden Amigo and Angel, and great granddaughter of Amigo and the Golden Girl. This is Daughter Olympic Johnny. Guys, let's talk about lot number one. Well, I talk about lot number one, and what can I say? Absolutely super in the hands. Buoyancy, nice amount of muscle. You feel the keel bone just a little bit. The vents are set perfect on this pigeon. Beautiful wing, soft, silky feathers. The forearm is tight. The bird has nice vibration. You know, handling these pigeons, and you're going to hear a lot of the same thing. The breeders listen to what we ask for. We ask for super quality, super chiseled pigeons put together in the right way, and you handle them all. And I've handled Golden Amigo. He's super in the hands. This pigeon is the same way. Super buoyancy, not too big, but bang, right on. And I tell you, the quality in this lot number one, when you start an auction off with lot number one feeling this damn good, oh, daddy's happy, man. I'm, I am happy, happy, happy. Now, we know we have the father here. Geert, Leandra, I want you guys to tell me, what is so special about this pairing? This pairing is uh, very special. Uh, this uh, cock is the uh, son of the Golden Amigo with the angel. Uh, I give him two different hands and he has the same quality as Olympic Juni. He gives uh, with, uh, with more uh, hands, uh, super uh, youngsters. You mean with Johnny boy? Yeah. 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 So it's the same way, very potent. He breeds good, good quality, super. Yeah. And I mean, you open this pigeon's wing and you feel yeah. the vibration on this one that we're selling. The quality in them is, is super. Now, what about the mother of this one, of this lot? Blue Beauty. The mother is a uh, Blue Beauty. He is uh, coming uh, out of uh, the Red Beauty from uh, Sticker Dunkers. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, go way back to the Wonder yeah. Boy of Sticker Dunkers. Yeah, the Wonder Boy of uh, Sticker Dunkers is uh, one of the best uh, flyers in the lot of the. Now, this one here, I'm going to let you handle this one, Leandra. I want to handle the father. Yeah. This, again, you feel, when you close your eyes, these two feel identical. You feel yeah. the exact same pigeon, yeah. the exact same buoyancy, the strength, everything. Look at the sharp looking face. You're seeing the father, you've seen the hand. The quality is second to none. Look at the oh, step boy. in look at the step in the wing on this pigeon. Not a big pigeon. Super buoyancy, super eye sign, and this youngster has great eye sign, great feather qualities. He now uh, gives uh, the um, we had now for one love phrases, he gives really good blood related uh, making first prizes and one love phrases also with his sons and daughters. So uh, he is uh, one of our super breeding cocks. Yeah. Well, he, you, you can feel for one law of racing, the, this is the right body structure I find for a pigeon. He's not big. He's just perfectly yeah. muscled. Yeah. And, and he's that right aerodynamic feel in your hands. Yeah. This, this, this lot number one, this is a real head turner. <sighs> yeah. Know, let's, uh, I could like we, could I just ask, could we have the father and the youngster uh, beside each other there? Let's have a look beside each other look at that look at that and there you see it guys they believe in the pigeons you see this is one of their super breeding cocks and you have you have that opportunity you have that opportunity to own an absolute super quality there's the the father and the daughter perfect in your hands i'm going to say something leandra mm -hmm. you guys have the magic pigeon fingers these pigeons are super quality is right there on your lot number one leo where do you go to bid where do you guys go to bid feathersleepigeonauctions.com or fipaeu.com that is your lot number one we're going to move on to 
lot number two in the gear to Leander Munich online auction. A beautiful, sweet little mealy hen. The Netherlands 2021 143985, an original gear to Leander Munich. Sister to the 9633, winner of five prizes out of six races, including ninth versus 163 pigeons, 12 versus 187, 37th versus 1,736, 129th versus 1,910. Also, Sister to the 9682, winner of five prizes out of six races, including fourth versus 163. 16th versus 2,389, and so on. Also, granddaughter of Olympic Johnny and great-granddaughter of world-class breeder Golden Amigo. This is Daughter Red Bull. Guys, let's talk about lot number two. Well, I, I, I'm going to tell you, on this lot right here, wow, it's a strong pigeon. It's chiseled out of steel. It's a little bit of a deeper pigeon, a little bit of a longer cast pigeon. Vent bones are strong, good muscle, good forearm, nice wing, soft, silky feathers, super loaded. And yes, guys, get the mealy hen. I've been lucky enough to handle the father. Oh, absolutely superb. And yes, guys, don't worry about the color because you see the fight in this pigeon. This pigeon has it all. It wants to get up and go, go, go. And get out of the way. It has it in. Oh, you feel it in your hands. Man, this is a pigeon. Shit. I have to take a moment to get it in. And, and I am I like reds. I like the mealies. I love the father of this pigeon. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, guys. I'm drooling. I'm going to need a napkin to wipe my mouth off. It's okay. Don't worry. Let it run. Okay. Just let it go. Yeah. Tell me about the tell me about the father and the mother, please. Uh, it just uh, have the side also with uh, sticker donkers. Uh, from the Wonder Boy, also a little bit Leo Heremans uh, inside, and of course also again our top breeder Olympic Johnny, here Olympia 207. It's from also Heremans line, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful hen. The father, but, but uh, the father, father yeah. This one, it's a famous cock in the hands. He, he's, he's super, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. So, and very nice wings you can see. Oh, you don't have to tell me. You see both the wings on these pigeons. You know what I like? You open the wing and there's a vibration. The pigeon yeah. has the motor. And I let yeah. you handle this because I got to handle this cock again, Geert. Yeah. I like them so much. And, you know, it's interesting. You guys bring in pigeons. Now, I was here two or three years ago and you brought in a little, you had a little Clausen's cock, yes. which I liked him. And that that's a sad story of what happened to him. Yes. yes. Pops, you, you let us down on that one. But... <laughs> I handled him and I went, wow, you guys bought this pigeon. It's super nice in the hands. And then you bring in this red cock. Mm -hmm. And I know one thing. If I go to pick a pigeon for you guys, I know the exact quality you're looking for because you look for the same things I do. Yeah. This pigeon in your hands, if I was to score it, it, it it's 100 out of 100 all mm -hmm. day long. He's got the cast. He's got the buoyancy. He's got the muscles. He's got the fight to him. Got that beautiful red checker cock. Man, this is something special. And the bloodlines are good. Yeah, yeah last year yeah. Uh, he, I bred for the first time from this cock and uh, I give him a uh, hint from Olympic Johnny. And uh, he gave me a uh, direct uh, cock uh, with like uh, six uh, races and five uh, best prizes. Wow, you, you can feel it. This pigeon has all the super qualities. And you see when you look, the father, the daughter, He's darker than she is. She's got a little bit of a different face on her, yeah. but super quality, eh? Yeah. And you, you feel, uh, she feels like him. Oh, and yeah. I, I, one I, year. She needs when, when one I, more season to develop, and she'll be the identical clone to this pigeon. When I have a pigeon coming into my hands, I want to feel the smoothness yes. into my hands. And when I feel that by a pigeon, it's, it's a good feeling for me. Uh, you know, when I'm not feeling it, it's not good. And, and I, uh, the, the, the snick, uh, stickers, donkers, birds, yeah. I, I hear lots of people have them with good success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've already tried this and it works. Mm -hmm. So, guys, bid in confidence. Man, this cockbird here, he's super Leandro. I let you handle him for a second. Yeah. But we go from lot one. The lot two super qualities. Yeah. Look at the back on this, eh? You're strong. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Hey, listen, by the way, I'm going to tell you something. 
Geert, you're not allowed to buy, eh? This is for the other people. Stop it. I know Geert's going to try and want to go shopping, but you feel it, eh? The yeah, qualities are in these pigeons? It's it's also that we want to to give also good pigeons. Sure. Best pigeon. If we don't like our pigeons, we're not selling the pigeons. You know... Because uh, we want to give quality to people. And, you know, you invest. You give sometimes a lot of money for pigeons. And it's really nice for us always to hear when people do goods. It makes us really happy. You know, I, I know last year a gentleman uh, uh, came to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions mm -hmm. at your sale. And he purchased, I think, about four or five. Yeah. Okay. Very quiet little guy. Nice guy. And he brought some birds over for a one-loft race. And I'm going to tell you, I think he came out at about $6,500 later. He won, he, he won multiple times. He had, a, he had multiple super birds. And I asked him, I said, oh, where did your birds come from? And he said, those Munich birds. He says, they're outstanding. They do it. They're great. They're smart. They're buoyant. They're everything. And he said, you know what, Ryan? They were everything that you said they were. Yeah. And I says, well, I feel it in the pigeons, but you see it in, the, you see it in you guys, yeah. the quality you guys put out. This is super. Yeah, but this is really nice and super <laughs> to hear that your birds are doing say something. Their money into yeah. pigeon sport and 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 you know, just forget who the handlers are. You go to the African race there, uh, Victoria Falls. Yeah. You send three or four pigeons. You sell in a small little team. Yeah, but yeah. we send five. You send five. Yeah. How do you do? Um, we we did well. And we only get two left. Mm -hmm. It was a pigeon called Mamba and mm -hmm. White Nuru. And um, yeah, I think Mamba was from Gold Star. So it was also a really good, good, good line for us. Mm -hmm. And this White Nuru uh, has the bloodline of Olympic Johnny. It was the grandfather of, of her. And, and there you are winning against the world's best competition yeah. in, on a different country. Yeah. Different set of set of rules. Yeah. You're there winning. Also, it's maybe not always nice to say, but we beat Koopman, we beat Hoymans, we beat Ganes, we beat everybody in the semi-final because mm -hmm. we we went second. And then in the finals, the birds right there as 39th. well. Thirty ninth. Thirty ninth. That's yeah. right. And, and you beat all these people, but what people don't realize is you sent five pigeons. Yeah, only five. Imagine if you sent a hundred. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you got to yeah. try and send a hundred, yeah. my friend. No, we yeah. now send just six. <laughs> <laughs> you just send six. No, yeah. no, no. But uh, you didn't send a big number, no. and you did very well. Yeah. You also have clients in Kuwait, yeah. all over the world, in Australia, yeah. and what are the you, you get feedback? These birds win. Yeah, I have a lot of people uh, who say that uh, this Johnny Boy line, Olympic Johnny line, uh, are really good for people in in, in Middle East. They, they, are. Have, they have win in China with the one ball phrase. Yeah. They win in, uh, in Kuwait. They win. For Did 14 they, days. Yeah. There was, was a gentleman. They make a first prize. There was a granddaughter of Olympic Johnny. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, you know, since 2005, you keep hearing Olympic Johnny, Olympic Johnny, Olympic Johnny. They don't say everyone is super because that's that's unrealistic. But you hear history repeating itself, winners, winners, winners. Guys, if you're in the southern Ontario area, you ask a gentleman by the name of Harry Paul what he thinks of these pigeons. You ask, uh, I can drop more names that I'm not going to because that's rude. But uh, I will say the quality are in these lots. Take a look. At, look, at how, look at how intelligent this pigeon is. Looking around, awesome. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. A reminder, guys, this auction closes Saturday, March 26th, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, and 7 p.m. European Time. We're going to move on to lot number three in the Geert and Leandra Munich online auction. Wow, I think this is the first one in our European tour. This is a proven racer a champion no doubt in your lot number three a beautiful blue bark hawk the netherlands 2020 1013158 an original geert and leander munich direct off the munich race team an outstanding racing cock winner of first ace pigeon club 2020 winning six prizes in eight races including fourth versus 199 pigeons 12th versus 2654 88th versus 2225 90th versus 7,026. A son of Kelly, 
who is full sister to Olympic Johnny, winner of third Olympiad Doif Netherlands Category G, and fifth Olympiad Doif International Brussels 2017, winning five times first prizes, Jarling. This is Blau, 58. Guys, let's talk about lot number three. It's Mr. Blue Boy. Eh? Uh, this guy here, what a strong pigeon. Now, I'm going to tell you for the people buying or interested, I want to describe him for you. He's a deeper pigeon. You're going to feel keel bone with him. This is how he is, but that's okay because everything else about him is super strong. Forearm is tight. The wing snaps. You can't even open this bird's wing. The vents are tucked up, but he's a deeper pigeon. And that little bit of depth sort of makes him feel a little bit unbalanced in the hands, but I don't buy it. I know this bird's got the qualities, but I have to tell you something. He can fly. He can fly. And you yes, know what? Can. He's got the look. Look at him. He's super intelligent. He's got that long little face on him. But I'm going to tell you, this is a damn nice pigeon. Leandra Geert, you guys know what to do. Sell me this one, please, because I'm, I'm, I'm very interested. <laughs> yeah, this is a line. Um, Mr. Blue Boy, of course, he go, I think, then way back to Mr. Blue, Isra. You know, uh, really yeah. strong bloodline also golden amigo and uh angel and uh yeah also kelly inside it's got all the good all the good yes the mother is a uh, full sister of uh, olympic johnny full, full sister of olympic johnny now i remember when we were talking because you guys had a complete sale of johnny boy and uh, this this stuck into my head that geert told me that i believe you had a, a, a brother of Johnny Boy that was sold, and it went, I think it went to China. Yeah. And I believe Geert said he was producing as good as Johnny Boy. Yes. Yeah. And you put him in the sale, and Geert said he did not handle good. He was not his brother. He wasn't a super feeling pigeon at all in the hands. And somebody purchased the pigeon. Yeah. And when they got the pigeon, he did not, not they like didn't it. like it, and they disposed of him. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't give the poor pigeon the op the opportunity to breed no. so guys may you know please knowledge is key here this no, pigeon's super nice i think it's the same story you put johnny boy his parents because mother was also not a really nice no, the head. mother of johnny boy that was not in the hands uh, a super feeler a super no. feeling pigeon he was uh, his fat bones was a little bit open he was not strong in the back but uh, I make them together with uh, the father of, Olymp of uh, Johnny Boy. And, oh, Johnny. Oh, he gave me super, super. Yeah. super and, and, and this is where you may see this in the family every once in a while. You may get that pigeon that's not perfect. Guys, there's, it's okay. There's exceptions to rules. Take the opportunity to try the birds out. You're not going to be disappointed. When you see this pigeon on camera, and I'm looking at him now on the camera because I always like to look at the pigeons in the camera. Look at how intelligent this guy is. I let you handle him, Leandra. Yeah. I want to feel the father, if you don't mind. Oh, it's yeah. A, it's oh, a, man. <laughs> God, wait a minute. You feel everything in th this pigeon is this pigeon, mm -hmm. but this one is just a bit deeper. Other than that, they're built the same way. Very small, very cobby-looking pigeon. Super intelligent. Oh, the father. But I have also, in our loft, you handled her, Liza. Mm -hmm. I have uh, also a nice video of her. But the brother of Liza is also a really bigger. A little bit deeper. Deep. Yes. But he fly really good. This pigeon, man, you, it's so nice when you close, you know, I come here. I can't remember every pigeon I feel. No. But what's so great about this sale is the first three lots, you feel the DNA in these. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. feel a different pigeon. You don't go like, mm -hmm. you know, the back comes up and the tail's open and you go, and then you hand me the father and he's perfect. These two are, are almost identical. Yeah. Man, I'm going to say something. You guys have some special pigeons. Yes. The quality is here. And I, I, again, I see it. Why do they win in the one loft races under totally dis different circumstances all over the world from Africa to, to, to America, Canada, Australia, Dubai, why are they winning? You feel they have an athletic feel. You open the wings, they vibrate. The birds are buoyant. And look at, look when the master holds them, eh? You can see the man loves his pigeons. The look on his face, he's a good one, isn't he? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You ask me, uh, will you give us a, a race pigeon for sale? I always, and yes. I go in, in the loft and then uh, yep. no, I make a choice that I give you this cock. You know, the, it was not easy for me when he is from uh, 2020. Yeah. But, uh, you have to pick one. And you know what? I will say, the, you Munichs, you guys, I'm going to say something. Whatever we ask, mm -hmm. you always give and give above, which is great. The yeah. couple that's coming up is super. Uh, a proven racer. You even have a little bit of red there. No, but maybe we can give something to who 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 know who the buyer is. Yeah. It's always okay, but maybe to give that person. Uh, and and yeah, you know, you, you a know, a lot of luck. What we have from this pigeon. So, so, so you yeah. would you if we wouldn't have been coming, you would have had this bird on your race team this year. Yeah. yeah. Now, guys, hey, I'm just going to say it's always nice to build relationships, okay? Build relationships. And I promise if you build good relationships, you get good in return. Somebody buys this pigeon, I don't care where you are in the world, and if you're thinking like me, I would say me personally, I buy it, you race it for me here, mm -hmm. and, enjoy, and enjoy having a master fly your pigeon. You never know what you're going to get out from it, but... Uh, this lot here, guys, it's a special pigeon. Yeah. I want to thank you for, for giving us this opportunity to represent this pigeon. Yeah, guys, please bid in confidence. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. That was lot number please. three. We are going to move on to lot number four in the Geerton Leander Munich online auction. A beautiful blue checkercock. The Netherlands 2021 1439763. An original Geerton Leander Munich, a direct child of top breeder Matador and grandson of world class racer Blue Prince, winner of third ace pigeon Netherlands, WHZB, and also winner of three times first and 16th versus 11,474 pigeons, and so on. Also, a great grandson of superstar Olympiad 003. This is Sun Matador. Guys, let's talk about lot number four. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you something. I don't have to say much about this one. I think if you handle... Yeah. I. Yeah. It's, you know, the quality is second to none. But I will say, if I was to explain this pigeon to somebody, and, and Leandro, I think you're going to agree with me. When you close your eyes, you think he's a hen. He's not a big cockbird, this one at all. But boy, is he right. <laughs> it's, uh, of course, bloodline from Matador. But Matador breeds also Shana. She was uh, uh, last year the third best pigeon from VA Sabeta in middle distance in the <coughs> ladies league. So In the ladies league? Yeah. Can I ask you, take a look at the muscle on this pigeon. Mm. Look at the vibration gear day. Eh? Yeah. You see this? The bird vibrates. He's a machine in your hands. Boy, is he nice. He's compact, the buoyancy. There's just nothing to say wrong with him. I mean, if you want to give a little fault, the, the vents are open a crack. I mean, you can put a hair in between the vent bones. Yeah. But he's super athletic. And when I go back to last year, and I was the lucky guy that was flying the birds from Harry Paul. I was the guy. His, his pigeons at one, they were identical to this. When I put him in my hands, you couldn't believe it. I went, this is what I'm feeling. And and the quality is awesome. He's He looks beautiful in the camera. He takes a beautiful photo. Nice eye sign in the pigeons. Now, do you guys use eye sign for breeding? Or do you believe in it? Or is it just fortune cookie wisdom, really? Yeah. I believe a little bit in I, uh, the color of the eyes. I not pair the two cocks and uh, hen uh, together with uh, the same eyes. So you do a little bit of yeah, a little bit uh, conversation. Yeah, well, also, also in the bodies of the pigeons, when we, I have a big cock and I have a small hen, they make a egg together. Not two big uh, pigeons uh, to each other. You know, a little, little bit conversation. Yeah, so. you 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 change it up a bit, but this cock. Ah, oh, he's such a nice pigeon. Guys, I'm going to tell you, bid in confidence. Now I get to handle the father. Yeah. I'm going to allow you to handle the son. And no, Leandra, you don't need any more birds at your place because I was at your place. Yeah. 
And I, I geez, I'm going to tell you, I know where you get some good pigeons. And if you want to add some more, yes. you don't get a family I, discount. I we charge you double for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, he is one of my favorite cooks. Oh, yeah. Whoa. It's just like the candy store, huh? Oh, yeah. The candy shop came to town. <laughs> We, we, we're, how far are we from the red light district? Oh, not far. If we put a little red light here. 25 kilometers. 25, that's yeah. it, eh? 25 yeah, that's it. kilometers. Yes. <laughs> Super pigeon. Look but, at the step in this wing. Yeah, Whoa. he has um, Mr. Blue Line, but he is also a son of uh, Blue Prince. And okay. Blue Prince was the third best pigeons, pigeon middle distance. In uh, I have Holland. to yeah from Holland from whole Holland. Oh, it was a short distance. Yeah. But I'll tell you th this guy he's a little bit bigger than his than his son and that's a young pigeon it needs time yeah. to develop. Yeah. Uh, and it's funny we talk about it when you send pigeons you say to the Middle East or or to India because you guys your pigeons have gone all over the world. In different countries they like the pigeons older. Yeah. For development they want to see what the final product is. Yeah. In North America, they like these younger pigeons. And I will say, guys, these pigeons, they're not overly big. When they develop two, three years old, you feel the final product. Very strong pigeons, yeah. very buoyant, super feather quality. So he's the good one, eh? Yeah, but... In, in this pigeon, are so much quality. Also uh, from mother side is from uh, uh, Leo Hermans. is out of the Olympic uh, uh, 0 3 uh, it's a direct uh, grandson of that it's super quality. And he's got the same face as his father, which I like. Mm -hmm. Man. But you always need to take your time for your pigeons. You take know? your time? Yeah, take your time. If you get a young pigeon and you feel an older pigeon, you think, Phew. But this pigeon become that pigeon later yeah, yeah. well so, it's, it, we take time yes a hundred percent and and you know i will say one thing about leandra and i'm not going to talk about the pigeon she, she does research for people and for herself she's looked up a certain bloodline take your time she digs real deep into taking her time and looking and if i were to show it to you you'd be amazed it's a great trivia question and i might use it one day on a show but Taking your time isn't only in the loft. No. It's, it, it's not for the birds. It's for yourself. Look at what you're doing. Guys, this auction runs for a week. Take your time. Take a look at the lots. These breeders, they stand behind their pigeons. The pigeons are super. This family has been winning since the early 2000s. Is it going to continue? Yeah. Look at the, look at the motor. Look at the muscle. Uh, vibration. You can, mm -hmm. He's seeing it, eh? The father is the same way. You see the same vibration. Look, here. Yeah. Look. There was a, in the auction is a full brother of this. Well, a full brother of this, is this guy. Six, yeah. Six we're we're yeah, gonna see whole... him. We're gonna see this cock again. Yeah. You got two two shots at this. So, yeah. so guys. Yeah, it's the, a seven six four is uh, is. The the writing's on the wall right here. The best of the best. I don't think. Can we get any better? I don't know. I don't know. And you know what, guys? Bidding confidence. A lot of people have. A lot of people have won with these pigeons. It's not everyone's not a grand slam. But I will tell you, when you start, when you have qualities of this level, your odds of hitting the good ones are, oh, he vibrates right when you give him the me. Forget lifting the bird's wing up. You put it on the keel, and you feel the vibration on the keel like yeah. this. The best of the best. Leah. Please stop me if I'm rambling, but uh, where do you go to bid? Where do you go to bid? FeathersLeadPigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. That is your lot number four. We're going to have a look at lot number five, a beautiful blue checker hen. The Netherlands 2021-143-9664. An original geared to Leander Munich with Leo Hermans and Danny Van Dyke. Sister to the 680, winner of 8th versus 101 pigeons, 150th versus 13,495, winning 5 prizes in 6 races, a, also a half-sister to Tess, winner of 4 times first, 
one times second, three times third, fourth versus 4,215 pigeons, seventh versus 2,176 pigeons, and so on. Also a direct child of top breeders Gold Star and Lady Hermans, and granddaughter of Golden Amigo and Angel, Sire and Dam of Olympic Johnny. This is daughter Gold Star. Guys, let's talk about lot number five. Wow. Wow. Again, perfect. I mean, literally perfect. If we want to, uh, you know, if you want to say anything about her, if you wanted to knock her, well, hey, let's talk about the good first. Super feather quality, super loads of muscle, forearm is tight, the wing, the snap on this wing, you see me look at it, man, it snaps. Vent bones are strong and tight. Back, does it come up? Barely. You feel it a little bit, but it is perfect. Muscle, 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 beautiful eye sign, feather quality though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't, and it says exactly what you say, Leandro. When you put the pigeon in your hand, mm -hmm. it has to have that feeling. Yes. And I mean, I'm not going to knock the first four lots we looked at. They had that same feeling, but this mm -hmm. one again, now this is a hen. We handled a couple cocks. Now we go to a hen. Super power. Whoa. Awesome. Tell me about the parents of this couple, of this, uh, of this hen. It's very easy. It's the same line than the, <laughs> than the Olympic a, Johnny. This is a full brother of uh, him. Olympic Johnny. So this is a full brother of Olympic Johnny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This so, is one of my best breeders in the lot. The one of you. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, uh, we, we talk, uh, this is one of your best. This is Olympic Johnny. I was never able to handle that pigeon. But I can only imagine from what I feel in the family tree. Yeah, these are brothers. These are brothers. Yeah. So, so you, <laughs> this is the thing. The history repeats itself. Guys, you think, you think they would have these pigeons here if they can't win? Absolutely not. They believe in them 150%. These are two uh, brothers. The Olympic Johnny, this is Gold Star. Olympic Johnny, Gold Star, the best of the best. When you have the father of uh, Matador, that's uh, also a full brother of this. Wow. Uh, the blue uh, prince, one yeah, fam one I family think. together. Yeah. Everything together. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is it's okay. Any way you want to buy the, the young and pair them up, you should be good. Yeah. Yeah, they work. Yeah. And, and again, 100 to 500 kilometers, five or 600 kilometers. It doesn't matter if it's headwinds. It doesn't matter if it's tailwinds, crosswinds, hell. If you can't fly pigeons and you send them to one loft races, don't worry. These pigeons will get to the top. They've done it for the Munichs. They've done it for Harry Paul. They've done it for a lot of people. And think about how many people haven't said a word. They just sit there and be quiet. Many, I talk to people, uh, I think we sold Johnny Boy line in 11, eh? Mm -hmm. It's now 22, so that's 11 years later. Mm -hmm. I talked last week to a, a man who has a full daughter of the Johnny Boy line still, mm -hmm. uh, 11 or 12 years, is his best hen in the lot. I only know that now because it's... He tells you. He, he, he tells, tells you at the, end of, at, yeah. at the end of the road. And I yeah. think there are more people who are really good with with this line, but you, you you not always can know everything, of course. Hey, and, and guys, if you've had success with this line and you really have, and you believe in them, get a hold of Leandra. Cause yeah. she, she doesn't want to just know for the family. She is interested in saying, hey, pair this to this. I am interested in bringing it back. You guys believe in these pigeons. Yeah. This is why we represent this family. They believe in the pigeons 150%. Yeah. Now, do we want to add anything onto this? Because if we add too much, it's, I, yeah, I'm going to want it. I already do. <laughs> but, uh, but look to the mother, Lady Hermans. You come from the Blaue DiCaprio. DiCaprio, that was one of the best. Uh, Ask Derek Fox, Walsh. Fox from uh, Leo you, 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 you know, I, I, we, were, we were in Ireland and I, I sat down. We were having some beer with uh, Derek Walsh, mm -hmm. DiCaprio. He said, DiCaprio, DiCaprio, DiCaprio. Yeah. What, is the, what does your father say? Mm -hmm. DiCaprio. So, yeah. you guys, what you bring in to play with these pigeons is super quality. Yeah, yeah. but we only bring something we only like, you know, something special. 
not what everybody has. Right. So we now also have a pigeon you handled when you come here. Yes, yes. I handled it and I say, boy, you picked a good one. He is, of course, we call him Baron Rossi. Mm -hmm. He is from a special line. He's from the Edelman. Mm -hmm. And this Edelman is already in China. And nobody has this bloodline. Nowhere. But you do. But you do. So oh, maybe. Maybe. You'll get lucky. You'll get lucky maybe for in the next, next season. You see the quality in these lots. Uh, <laughs> you, you hold them together and you see it right there. Father, daughter, eh? Yeah. We, we can't get any better. Leah. Wow. Where do you go to bed, Leah? Where do you guys go to bed? Featherleafpigeonauctions.com or FIPAEU.com. A reminder, guys, this auction closes Saturday, March 26, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, or 7 p.m. European Time. We're going to move on to lot number six in the Geerton Leander Munich online auction. A beautiful blue bar cock. The Netherlands 2021 1439546. An original Geerton Leander Munich with PIPA Elite Center. A Feathers Elite exclusive offer. Pigeon from Paradise now available on Earth. Son of Dally Porsche and Nicolette, grandson of Brother Porsche 667 and Sister Dally 585, and Nest Brother Dally and Believe, great grandson and inbred of Tarzan and New Patricia, Porsche 911 and Leave, Wacko Freddy and Leave, the absolute best of the best. This is Porsche 46. Guys, let's talk about lot number six. Yes, this is another. Yeah. Wow. Wow, the Dolly, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. North Americans, you know, Yoanni Saints. We represent him, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. He loves the Porsche, the Dolly Pigeons. A lot of people are doing good things with them. You know, Alfred Cohn Van Zorn, he's got a little bit of Porsche he brought in to try. You have some. But in this lot right here, it is a very nice pigeon. Super strong, put together nice. You feel a little bit of the keel bone, nice muscle, forearm tight. Nice wing. You know, you guys in this sale made my job easy, eh? And, and I appreciate that. So buyers, you're going to like what you get out of a basket. And, you know, it's it was nice today. You showed me a bird that you had purchased a few weeks back. And you said the same thing to me. Boy, it's going to be nice to see when I take it out of the basket. How does it look? Your father brought it in. I put it in my hands. I says... Uh, Yes, please. I take that all day long. It was perfect. Just like the red cock we've seen. Perfect. Yeah. And this is what's so nice about these lots. They're pretty much damn close to perfection. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys want to say about this one? This is uh, a new line. I try it, uh, to bring it in my lot. I have a good relation uh, with uh, Nicolas uh, from Pipa. And uh, he gave me uh, a small uh, lot of youngsters to try to uh, raise with them. It was all uh, late bred uh, youngsters. Mm -hmm. uh, I said to him, uh, maybe I uh, put one or two uh, pigeons uh, direct in my breeding lot. And uh, this is one of them that I make it direct in my breeding lot. It's a so nice cock. It's, it's a beauty. Well, I can't wait to handle one. And let's see the quality comparison to this guy. Because this guy, he's perfect. Leandra, enjoy him, eh? Of course, of course. <laughs> let, let, let's handle this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, eh? This was another nice one you pulled out of the basket. Super nice. Get that little bit of war paint on him. Muscles, they're the same. Same two pigeons again. Forearm is nice. Nice snap tight to the wing. So this is new. A little new experiment for you. Yeah. yeah. Look at the step in this bird's wing. Look right here. Look at that step, guys, on the camera. It's, as Leah would say, it's huge. So when you bring in birds like this and you try them, and this goes for people bringing in your birds and to try them, yeah. how many seasons do you give them breeding before you say, hey, did they work or they don't work? How, how, how long is the leash? That is uh, different. When I uh, have belief in a, in a pigeon, and uh, I try and I try and I try. I yeah. give him more time. 
You give a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. You, it's not one year or two years. Maybe you must look for uh, that cock. You must look for a hen. The right combination. Yeah, the right combination. Question. Uh, we talked about it. We were in the house. You told me a story of a pigeon. Yeah. That you had purchased. We now, buy a youngster from uh, Gerard Koopman. Gerard Koopman. For yeah. a couple of years in an auction. In, uh, he wasn't I, cheap. I, he was expensive. No, it was not uh, very expensive, but uh, I liked that pigeon uh, very much. And also uh, my friend. And uh, I bred the first uh, year from uh, that hen. And he gave me not what I... Uh, nothing. No, no, nothing. And, I give him to my friend, I said, breed you uh, for one year out of that uh, hen, also nothing. Then I said to him, give me him back, and I will try it again. And then I give him a son of a uh, Johnny boy, and he gave me super raises. <laughs> <laughs> and boom. <laughs> and so that, was, that was after three years. Yeah. Three years. And, and, and I, this gets back to what you say. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to take your time, change the pairings up, take mm -hmm. your time, don't rush it. But take it easy. But this look, cock, yeah. they give me direct good uh, flyers. Already. And also the hen, they, I put it in my breeding lot, they give me also good races. Good, good races that work with the line. Yeah, direct. Guys, uh, there you see it right here in the and lot number six. When you see the pedigree, is the, 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 the best pigeons they are in the uh, in this Pipa Elite Center lot. Hey. The best that is. I don't have much more to say on this. All I can say is bid in confidence, guys. Really do. Father, son, the best of the best. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com or FIPAEU.com. We're going to move on to lot number seven. A beautiful blue bar hen. The Netherlands 2021, 1439761, an original geared to Leandra Munich with Franz Reverman and Leo Hermans. Daughter of outstanding breeder Magic Blue and Olympic Saverche. Great granddaughter, no, excuse me, granddaughter of Mr. Blue from Peter Wienstra and Weisra from Danny Van Dyke. And great granddaughter of Saphir from Leo Hermans. This is Magic Saphir, guys. Let's talk about lot number seven. Well, she's a little bit bigger of a hen, a little, uh, not big as in like big, oafy, heavy. She's just a little bit bigger of a pigeon, a little longer cast of a pigeon, but super nice, super soft feather. The feathers have been, <laughs> Mona Lisa painted these on, or Michelangelo, or hell, forget those. Let's go with Bob Ross, a real painter, as I say. No, outstanding again. Just yeah, a bit it's... bigger, a little bit deeper, but yeah. super. She's Everything in the right way. It fits perfect. Yeah, it's it's it comes one of one of my favorite cocks in the loves, Magic Blue. Wow, I, I just want to take her in and just take a look at when I hold her, eh? I Isn't she a? Uh, <laughs> I have uh, from Mr. Blue, I think uh, seven, eight uh, <laughs> different uh, youngsters in my breeding lot. Well, if, guys, if you just heard that, what, just repeat what you said again. I want to hear it again. What did you just say? From this cock. From this cock right here, you have what? I have yeah. seven, eight uh, youngsters in my breeding. In breed. Different hens. Yeah. With different hens. Guys, right there, if, you, if you're not hearing uh, the inside information, you know, the shit that uh, you say, well, when you went there, Ryan, you didn't ask him. You didn't ask your, no. This is off the camera stuff, but we got it on camera. That means these are the damn good ones. My best uh, youngster last year was out of a song of this. Oh, look at her in the camera when I'm looking at her. <laughs> this is a full, uh, yeah, full sister of that. Oh, the best of the best. Beautiful eye, beautiful feather quality, put together right. And, you know, the one thing I'm going to say on this hen, when I notice her. I think Mr. Blue Israel was, I think, maybe the best. A breeding couple in, in the face that I loved. Well, I, I'm going to say this. This hen has something special about her. Yeah. She's got those little tusks. Yeah. She's going to have them. And guys, everyone I ask, every Belgian, English, Irish, Dutch, German, top flyers, they all say the hens with the barbs, the tusks, they become very good breeders. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's fortune cookie wisdom. I don't know. 
But you take a look at this one. I'm gonna let you handle her because yeah. she's she's a super. But we race uh, in our uh, district. Uh, we started with 100 kilometers, and the last race is 810 for us. Oh. It's also, the pigeons uh, they now are in the sale. Yeah, I, I race this with is them again. also about 800 kilometers. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. But I race not all my pigeons of that uh, that distance. That distance. You you take some further than others. No, yeah. oh, I'm very afraid that we have uh, not a good race, and then you lose uh, maybe a lot of pigeons. So last, last year we have of the long distance a very very <laughs> bad race. People they lose uh, more than fifty percent of the pigeons. Yeah, uh, when you raise uh, in from my loft all the pigeons of one race, then you lose uh, you all. Uh, you lose half half the bullets in the gun. Yeah. yeah. And again, uh, uh, that's not good. But I'm going to say these pigeons are phenomenal. And also, what I'm hearing is, guys, just because they say, hey, they take them from one hundred to five hundred kilometers, if you're on an easy course. Uh, you know, you can take these birds out seven, eight hundred kilometers. Geert's not saying they won't do it. It's what he chooses to put them to and, and what he enjoys. He doesn't enjoy a, if it's going to be pouring rain, he's not sending the super good ones out to 800 kilometers because you know what? I'm just not doing it. And I respect that. That's called using uh, common sense. Yeah. Some of us pigeon guys, we don't have it. I'm one of those guys. I like to, I play a little crazier. I'm more of a kamikaze flyer, but yeah. that's a me problem. <laughs> uh, but wow, mm -hmm. I was, uh, they feel identical, these two, eh? Yeah. Peas in a pod, man. The quality, outstanding. The muscle, the buoyancy, I love this hen. Uh, she could be my favorite one here in the sale. Yeah, she's beautiful. Uh, and, 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 you know, also when you get it in your hands, you think, Phew. Wow, well, yeah. I, I get it in my hands from this guy. I get it from her. Leah, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we bring you the very best. Where do you go to bid? Where do you go to bid? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.com or FIPA EU.com. We're going to move on to lot number eight in the Geert and Leander Munich online auction. A beautiful blue checker hen. The Netherlands 2021 1439764, an original Geert and Leander Munich. A direct child of top breeder Matador and granddaughter of world-class racer Blue Prince, winner of third ace Pigeon Netherlands, and winner of three times first, and so on, and great-granddaughter of superstar Olympiad 003. This is Matador 64. Guys, let's talk about lot number eight. This pigeon, you feel it vibrating instantly in your hands. Beautiful pigeon. Small, buoyant. Vent bones are strong. They open a bit. Her back comes up just a little bit. But super nice, feather quality, put together, tight. There hasn't been one Ophi awkward pigeon in the sale. Not one. They all feel super quality. Oh, and, and this is, again, not a big pigeon. But for a hen, I like it. She has that cocky look to her. She's got the nice eye sear on her. Mm -hmm. I feel underneath here. Man, she's beautiful, buoyancy. Tell me about the parents. Oh, yeah, we talked about him before. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? We're allowed to talk about him at least more than once. Trust me. Yeah. This is the brother of the other one, the 6 3. Yeah. Oh, th this is, yes. Yes. This is a okay. Cool so this is, yeah, Matador again. Uh, yeah, one, yeah. There, there are super class. Pictures. Yeah. Super class, yeah. And they I win. Have, I have not better in my world. No, when you hear, when you hear, the owners say, I, ha I have no better in the loft than what we've done at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions is we've done our job. Yeah. Because my job is to get the best pigeons out of your loft yeah. and get them into our buyer's hands because yeah. that's how the circle works. And what I love about working with you guys is you understand that. Mm -hmm. You're willing to give the good ones because you want to hear the results. You want people to enjoy your, your – this is your – this is your passion, man. Yeah. This is your DNA, man. This is this is Munich yeah. pigeons. But but it's uh, it's also you know the 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 quality you want to give to other people. Yes. You you want to give something good, also something super. You never know, but what yeah. we like, or what we think is is good or super. You we know, want to all go, Francis, they know yeah. 
when you uh, breed uh, 100 youngsters, not all 100 youngsters are champions. No. All the members, they know that. Right. And, you know, getting back to it, guys, if you watch this and you think and you want to play in a one-loft race in Europe and you say, well, I can't get birds there. I can't do this. Get in touch with Geert and Leandra. I would trust them any day of the week to put a team of birds in for me. I can feel the quality in these pigeons. You see what they're breeding from. You see the gradings of these pigeons. They have it all. I mean, this is, again, handle this. It's just superb. You've done an ex you've done an excellent job with them, eh? With your family, you have excellent pigeon fingers, my friend. You know how to grade the pigeons. These are a race pigeon. This is super race pigeon. And, and you know, I will say, working with Leandra, she knows her way in and out of the pigeon loft. She knows what she's looking for. You can't fool her. I can say, Leandra, could you go over to this guy's loft and handle the pigeons? And if Leandra says, oh, I don't really know if I, I will trust her because I know she has the pigeon finger feel after what this guy's put together. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I, I, I did it a couple of times before, you know, we hand, we, we did buy some pigeons, uh, you know, that I go with this man into the loft and then he came back and then he tell you. Yeah. She, had the... she picked the good ones? Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you, know what, you know what you're looking for. And again, the results on these pigeons are second to none. You hear it right from Geert's mouth. I can't give you any better. I don't have any better to give. This is the best of the best of the best. That's why you guys are at Feathers Elite. Yeah. Yeah? Of course. Leah, where do you go to bed? Where do you guys go to bed? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.com or FIPA EU.com. Fantastic. Our right? final mm -hmm. lot is a special one here. So I guess I'm just going to introduce the That's special the couple. Huh. And then we'll talk about the cock and then the hen and then we'll talk about them together, okay? Okie doke. Okay. So here we go. Good luck, Leah. No, oh, thanks very much. A Feathers Elite exclusive offer here, folks. First one on offer. Love's in the air with an exclusive matched pair here in your lot number nine. Uh, the cock is a top proven breeding cock. He is sired to Special Andy four times first. 16th versus 3,132 pigeons, 27th versus 3,386 pigeons, and inbred to Johnny Boy, son of top breeders Toby and Lucky Lady, offspring one among others, first Boxtel versus 9,949 pigeons, first St. Quentin versus 6,798 pigeons, and so on. The cock is champ. He's a 2017 proven breeder there, folks. And the hen is uh, Netherlands 2021 143 An original gear to Leander Munich, a direct child of Magic Blue and Blau 03, and granddaughter of super breeder Olympic Johnny, winner of third, third Olympiad Doif category G, Jarling. This is daughter Magic Blue. Okay, so we're going to show the cock and then I'll show the video of the cock. Okay, Ryan? Do it that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. And I will talk about him. Um, Inbred. That's what we hear about this one. He's inbred. You feel inbred. He feels like a hen. You close your eyes. You're gonna tell me this. I close. This has got to be the hen in this ale. Not a big pigeon. He's built perfect, the way God intends him to be. This one is it. He has it all, and he's inbred. This means this is super. Now he's a good breeder already. I can feel it. He's got those long, square breeding feathers. He's buoyant. He has it all. He got a super nice, rich eye. Man, Jesus. You guys listen. I, I asked nicely. I say please and thank you. And you hit me back with superb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> awesome. In the hands. <sighs> Unbelievable. You uh, you handle him. This is a pigeon. I think it's uh, <laughs> together with the hen. I give you a hen. For this. A, this. a young hen. And, and you've been breeding this cock. He breeds the good ones. You feel it. Man, is, isn't he a tight weapon? Maybe I'd make a mistake. Well, <laughs> always remember, you can bid. If you do bid, though, just bid under your name. So guess what? We just double the price. <laughs> oh, but when you she see the, a couple of times. When Maybe you see I the pedigree of this pigeon, <laughs> yeah, well, it, that's, uh... tell me, go. It, it's damn good. Yeah, of course. It's, of it's course. super. To, 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 to bring something to anybody's loft. 
then you are so lucky to have this in your loft. You know, sometimes you think, oh, did I do good? Don't, don't want to keep this for myself? Yes. Oh, please, yes. But sometimes you have to make your choices. Right. And then give it to somebody who can, who can also... And, and you know what, what is great? Your father took the time to match this pair up. And he didn't pick two young pigeons. No. He went with a, with a proven breeder. Yeah. And the hen is just as nice. I'm going to bring her out here now. Yeah. This is a real super opportunity, guys, because it's two. Basically, it's a two for one. What, what the price you bid on is, what you see at your bidding, you get both. Yeah. And the master here himself is from a seven-year-old boy playing with pigeons, playing with pigeons, won a lot of races. You have the opportunity to have him select you a pair the he's, way uh, he he's, would do uh, it. also still really close to this Johnny boy. He's yeah. a great grandson of him. So also really close to Johnny boy line. So I think you are really uh, lucky to have that uh, kind of pigeon yeah. in your loft. It's a super pigeon. Yeah. And Leah, let's, uh, let's take a look at the hen in the sale. Oh, okay. did you want me to? Did you want me to do a little bit of reading on the hand? I can do that for you if you'd like. Yeah, because I'm 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 feeling uh, I'm feeling uh, lightheaded from the quality here. It's getting <laughs> okay. it's getting damn good. So you yeah. take help me out, Leah. Help me out. Okay, okay. So this is uh, the hen in the exclusive match pair, the Netherlands 2021 1439667. An original gear to Leander Munich, a direct Whoa. child of Magic Blue and Blau 03. Granddaughter of super breeder Olympic Johnny, winner of third Olympiad Doif category G Jarling and fifth Olympiad Doif International Brussels 2017. Also a great granddaughter of Mr. Blue and Wise Ra and Golden Amigo and Angel. This is daughter Magic Blue. Go ahead, guys. Talk about the hen. Yeah, this couple is very, they're a very small streamlined couple. She is not big. She's got a nice... She's a little longer pigeon, good muscle, great buoyancy. She's got the tusks. I can feel it on her. Nice snap to the wing. It's a nice wing, big wing, mm -hmm. large wing. Mm -hmm. This couple looks very, very nice together. I didn't have a chance to look at the eye yet, which I'm going to, but I'm going to say something, guys. Be very smart in this sale. I would buy the couple, and I'd look at the rest of the hens in the sale, and I'd buy the hens, and then I'd let him... Do what he's going to do best is bowl him to the other hens. Yeah. And I think it's a home run, win, win, win. But, but, but also this cock has the bloodline of Liza. Mm -hmm. I have also a pigeon called Liza, but this yes. is another Liza. She got sick on her wing. Sometimes that happens with a pigeon. Yeah. It's really sad, but it's nothing you can do about it. Uh, we don't have Liza anymore, but this is not related to Liza. She was a hen. I think she played 29 times, one out of 10. One out of 10, and 10 times. So uh, one out of 100. One out of 100. Yes. But also, uh, Liza was a super raiser of the long distance. Yeah. Super. Yeah, yeah. super. And I, I make uh, four pitches of the long distance raisers. Yeah. And you feel this one here would feel to me in my hands. Like you can go a little farther. Yeah. A little bit different build, a little awesome. longer, yeah. but super, super nice. But I, I just want to say you never can get any blood related I think or bloodline. Uh, super. Yeah. yeah. This is how you would put them together. Yes. The mother is coming out of the blau uh, 03. Yeah, it's opposite a, eyes. You a see it. Of Olympic Take a look. Leah, you're spinning the ones and twos very good today. Yeah. They look good. Everything is nice. Everything is right about them. Yes, guys, they are blue bars. If you want them to be grizzles or red, just imagine that. and It's fine. The quality is in this pair. I can see Leandra. She... <laughs> hey, wait. You... I was just you know talking what? to him. <laughs> you know what you do? Yeah. Get Peter to yeah. buy you a gift. Oh, there you yeah. go. No. Uh, here, I'm going to let you handle... <laughs> Let me handle the cockbird back. I uh, I like them both. And as a couple, they feel nice. They feel right and yeah. tight. Oh, he is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Just just an extraordinary but pigeon. But we cannot breed something like that. Of course, we can breed really nice, good pigeon. But because we don't have Liza anymore, it's a super special yeah, it's rare. pigeon. And rare pigeon we, we have to offer. 
So. Well, you handle the handy. You tell me. You like her? What are you thinking? You getting a good oh, feeling on yeah. her? I I just get the feeling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's right. And I think they are do. He, of course, the cock is always a little bit bigger, but he's she, a, she is a really nice size. He, he's, she's not is, much bigger than him. No, no, but I think they do really good on each other. Hen is beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Yeah. I, you know. Beautiful hen. I think also. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I so, good feelings about it. You got a good feeling, and you know what? That's what happens when you have good feelings. You got to believe in it. And guys, if there's something you don't like about the pair, don't put a bid on it. You have to have the feeling too. You have to believe in what you're buying. Yeah. You know, you bring birds in today. You bring, you brought the red cock in and you brought the Kleiner Dirk bird in. You brought that in. And both of you, when you handled the pigeons, when you let me handle them, I felt you believed in what you purchased. Mm -hmm. you be ah, I believe in this. I like this. This is going to do it. You need to have that feeling, guys. So when you're purchasing pigeons, you got to believe in what you're purchasing. Keep uh, an open mind, as they say. Leah, where do you go to bed? Where do you go to bed? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. Once you're finished watching this broadcast, we encourage you to head on over to our website. Take a look at the... I'll just show it here while you guys are getting set up. Take a look at our website. Take a look at the lots. Take a look at the lot photos. Take a look at the lot videos. Take a look at the breeder videos and the gradings from the loft managers and the loft tours, and the breeder question and answer. And, I mean, we're giving it to you here on a silver platter and giving you guys enough time to make your informed bids. A reminder, guys, all bids are in Canadian dollars. The pigeons featured in this auction are in the Netherlands. This auction closes on Saturday, March 26, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. U.K. time, and 7 p.m. European time. Ryan, back to you. Well... Well, Leah, that was great. You did great. Audience, we hope you enjoyed what you've seen. I know one thing. I love going to the candy shop. and I had a great dinner, but the dessert was even better. Um, <laughs> you guys really put a hell of a package together. Yeah. You guys are a great team. The Pigeon World's lucky to have you. And you did a great job with this, man. You created a, a, a pigeon woman that, uh, that can take on any pigeon man out there, which is excellent. Uh, you know your I grandson. Your grandson. I I yeah. couldn't believe it. He didn't want to be on camera, but yeah. your your grandson just storms into the loft and picking up pigeons and yeah. passing me pigeons, and yeah. he's got it. So uh, yeah. the, the whole bug, the I whole hope, Munich I hope family. That's a new generation. Of, yeah. you, you got already the new generation. Now you're gonna have the great new generation. Yeah. You guys have done everything we've asked and more, from the quality of the pigeons to just the way you guys are, easy to work with. I know my sister always says, oh, we got to get the Munichs, got to get the Munichs. Great, great, great. Yeah. <sighs> what can I say? You guys are great. You've done it all. You're going to continue to win mm -hmm. with the new generation. We hope. We hope. Yes. Uh, you guys are always welcome back to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I, I don't care how any of the auctions go. Whatever we can do to help you guys out, keep promoting the sport, promoting your pigeons. We want to be a part of it. Guys, all I can tell you is bid in confidence. You've seen Geert. You've seen Leandra. You've seen them stand behind their pigeons. They're getting the wins. All the pigeons are right here. They're down from that Johnny Boy line, that, that, that machine of a pigeon. He lives on right here. Yeah. And, you know, I'll tell you something. You're the only loft I've been to. When I look out the door, the biggest pigeon on the wall is Johnny Boy. He's yeah. the only one. The only loft I've seen this at. Mm -hmm. they, love, they love the Johnny Boy. It lives on. It's going to keep going. Guys, I want to thank you, Leandra. Of course. Excellent job. Always. You the man, eh? Okay. Geert, thank you. Me. You hear me say it inch by inch, brick by brick, mile by mile. Hell, I'm going to park that thing and say, man, the dessert here at the candy shop was fantastic. Leah, you did great. Bidders, remember, like Leander said, take your time and look and think and see. History repeats itself. The winners are right here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction. So bid in confidence. Check out lot number nine there, that couple. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You heard it from me first. Hey, I'm Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. That's Geert. That's Leandra. You see Leah spins it on the ones and twos. She did a fantastic job. Happy bidding. Good luck. And until next time, thanks for flying with me, guys. Thank you.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye for now.